Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to watch an Asian guy. I dare not to say which Asian country is from, you know, China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore. I'm not sure. It's just say Asian guy. Um, I can't find his YouTube channel anymore. I can't find the original video in my history. But nevertheless, all I can say is that he's been posting uh, updates, vlogs, videos concerning, well, his life and the typical struggles, you know, concerning studying, concerning relationships, concerning being single as a man. And yeah, the problems life have to offer, you know, with everything going up in price, with, you know, people being so disconnected and, and less and less human interaction is available in real life. And the lack of it makes him retreat to YouTube and just create his vlogs. And we're going to watch the latest one. It's just basically a midnight rant. And I just want to see what he's been up to. And hopefully you're interested enough to also join me on this uh, video commentary. So let's let's get into it. Hour or so and uh, my brain is mentally exhausted and you know I have an upcoming test that's why I had to study for it, but I said that, that, you know, if my brain is too tired, I won't be able to absorb anything. Uh, it's better to just get a good night's sleep. But instead of getting a good night's sleep, I decided that, yeah, I, I should probably film a video because, you know, my body isn't physically too tired, but my brain is like kind of fried. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to talk about whatever I want to talk about right now. And I've been thinking about something, which is, The meaning of life, or rather, finding a purpose in life, not really the meaning of it. And I'm not talking about like purpose in a sense of like, you know, knowing what you want to do for the next 20, 30, 40 years of your life. It's more of like, you know, trying to kind of like map out what do you want to even do in the next like couple of months or so. And honestly, I feel so trapped because right now I'm in this state where, you know, as my role as a student, uh, I have to study. But the thing is that I'm not good at studying. Uh, I'm quite slow when it comes to learning things. And for me, because of all these things, uh, I had to take up a lot more time. I spent like at least double the amount of effort compared to my peers. And I spent most of my time just working on my school, uh, school work and my assignments and presentations, things of that sort. And I'm not able to really sit down and think about what I want to do with my life. And you know, from young, I've been taught to just take the safe route you know, going to, to school for God knows how long. Uh, you finish up university. And from there, then you think about what you want to do with your life, which I never really agreed with. But, you know, uh, when you live with a traditional family, uh, saying no is basically like a death sentence. Yeah, exactly. So that's kind of like the curse and the blessing if it comes to being raised traditionally in an Asian household, specifically if both uh, parents or actual Asians, even if you immigrated to a Western country, these values and these morals still will be applied in your life. And these expectations are pretty high, you know, like regardlessly, think about, for example, Kev Jemma back in the days, you know, like with his dad, there were also like high expectations put upon him. Uh, there are many examples on YouTube in general, big YouTubers that went through the same thing, you know, that they want you to to achieve a lot and they want you to stand out and they want you to be socially on the highest rank of the ladder. And I mean, I totally understand why it's like they want the best for you and they want you to become a good and law abiding and a respectable person in society. And they want to see all these things. But what I've noticed is a pattern of a lot of people where there is a separation of parents you know gen x or uh, gen x or boomers in general with their millennial or gen z kids where that whatever worked for them doesn't work anymore for you know people growing well people going through life right now 
and trying to force or trying to apply that is very harmful and hurtful in a, in in all ways, all categories, mentally, emotionally, and just it stress it stresses a person out and that makes them even want to disconnect even more from following that standard and if you're a child you're taught to obey especially asian children in general you're taught to obey parents not to question just to do whatever you know be kind be polite be respectful and all that and there is a lot of things that come with it that are very positive later on in life but it also strips away of your personal individual freedom to do and to be whoever you want to be and where rebellion starts then transgression also arises and it happens at certain points in times and most of the time when that happens then you know they lose complete connection with their with their family uh, with their parents for a long period of time even forever just because they feel like they were imprisoned in following a set of rules following an agenda that actually didn't have anything to do with their personal interests or um, preferences in life and that will have a price eventually as well whether it's early or later on in life and he's basically talking talking about it and i'm pretty sure anybody that's listening understands exactly what this is about what he's referring to so i decided to just comply but right now since i'm a lot older compared to how i was like maybe six seven years ago i've been really thinking about what I want to do and if I were to be very honest I'm not really much of an academic person I'm not really someone who wants to to continue with school uh, but at the same time I don't really know like what I want to do or rather I'm more worried about the fact that you know like you don't have that university qualification you're not able to I guess go far in life uh, whatever that means but it's just been really mundane you know that's all I can say it feels very it feels like a straight line you know like everything is just going like in one straight line but I feel like I want a little bit more experimentation I want to be able to try and do things that are different you know from academics but it's so difficult nowadays especially for me because of the lack of time that i have school is like insanely hectic and just to give you guys context i'm only in my first semester and i already feel like i want to to pass out every day because of the sheer amount of work um i don't even know what will happen to me in the next one two years down the road so yeah it's kind of It's kind of like boring if I'm if I were to be very honest. You know, here I'm talking about like, you know, talking about purpose in life. You know, what I want to do, finding some plans and whatnot. Yet I don't even know what I want to do. I just know that I don't want to do something too mundane, some something boring. I want to do something that I like. It's just so vague, but. I guess in order to find out what you like, you got to go out there and experiment. But I'm tied down to the fact that I have to finish school. I still have three more years to go. It's quite insane to... You know, that, that's that's already a red flag by itself. You, you're you in the first uh, semester and you're doing all these things and already feeling very drained and, and, and regretful in certain ways and understand that it's not for you. There is only a small percentage for you know where men actually find themselves in that position that they feel some type of a film moment men in general like i said in general there were exceptions exceptions weren't made for that type of life so that's where the majority of people that succeed the majority of people that actually attend college and university or women it makes sense if you just think about it and it shouldn't be kept against men if they don't want to or they can't because it's not in their nature it's not in their personality it's not in their likes concerning life and the sad thing is that a lot of families and parents will keep it against the child and see the child and perceive the child as a failure and that's on them and that's why they push so hard and have these high expectations and demands i mean that's it's a double-edged sword if you think about it and it's a very rough and narrow pathway to go through when you're an only child of you just going by yourself and you don't feel like you have any meaningful relationships to actually talk about these problems i think many men have these issues and struggle with it when they're going through it but eventually either they stop going they stop attending they flung they fall out they drop out it doesn't matter there's gonna there's going to be a 
point in time that they have to follow their calling and that's the thing why do you think that in in all types of cultures something as similar to a spiritual walkabout was so essential when a man comes of age he has to discover himself he has to find himself he has to know who he wants to be and what he has to do in this life and existence and I personally believe that whatever, wherever you are, whoever you are, that things like being independent, self-reliant, uh, established, balanced, um, disciplined, like all these things are very, is way more important than just having some type of a college degree that's eventually going to be meaning, meaningless or eventually you will not find any type of job because you like the job qualifications and in the sense of having background um, experience. You know, that's also something that I've understood as well that you can shorten your time spent at college or business school or whatever uh, or university by just going for something that you can use, you know, as a skill, as a trade, as a profession that you can enroll into on your own behalf, you know, with your own, you know, intent, you know, so you're not going to be reliant on a boss or a company or whatever. And that's way more practical if you achieve that, if you succeed in that. First of all, it's going to be less money you're going to be wasting, you have to pay back. Secondly, you're going to be more established early on and third, like that really brings meaning to life because you're creating it for yourself. But if you're just again going to be a bootlicker, asswipe or whatever, uh, pardon, you know, my language here, but that's basically what it turns into. And you will also find that that's very draining, stressful, and it's not worth the money. It's not worth the time wasted and spend year in, year out. But when you feel that calling, when you feel that need, when you feel that time is, is there, you have to take it seriously. You have to listen because that's basically your intuition, internal guidance or God of whatever you want to call it. Personally, that's something you have to understand that it's now the time to do something about it and not waste any more time in doing something or investing in something that doesn't align with your calling in life as a young man. To think about it. Well, at least I guess I... I am trying a little bit different to, you know, experiment with something that I'm particularly interested in, which is YouTube, you know, talking and whatnot with you guys. You know, for the most part, uh, my shots and my videos are very different. On my shots, I'm like, uh, at least I try to be comedic. I try to make like anime related stuff. Uh, but on my videos is a little bit more, I guess, serious. You know, I'm not really sure how my videos are like to you guys. Uh, but yeah, I guess... Like my videos and my shots are quite different from one another. And I feel like quite satisfied that I'm able to experiment around with my content and whatnot. It's just that my uploading is like insanely like all over the place due to due to the school. And yeah, I guess I'll try to find more ways to be able to experiment around and you know with this platform that I really enjoy uh, doing. I know YouTube can get a little bit of a bad rap among, you know, especially the older generation who has no idea uh, what social media is. They'll be like, ah, that's not your job. That's just like your hobby and things of that, that sort. I guess in a way, I kind of want to prove, not just to them, but also at the same time to myself that I can find some sort of like meaning and satisfaction to this whole like, you know, medium of interest that I guess I'm experimenting with now so yeah yeah I guess I guess I am trying to find some meaning uh something that I like which is doing YouTube so yeah finding yourself and finding meaning in life is one of the most important parts uh, obstacles in life to go through when you're a young man you know because that will define you that will make or break you you can become a slave to some things that have no benefit to you in the long run or you can actually stand out and establish yourself in the way you feel the most comfortable it will be most beneficial to other people as in the sense of contribution so you can also be a, a respectful and a good person if it comes to society mainstream society people just always want to create this image that it only is possible where you follow a straight narrow pathway but how many people have done that that end up in divorce and happiness uh, legal problems and a financial decline so thinking about that keeping that in mind there are so many examples but these examples will never be put in your phrase they will always show you the upside of the coin not the downside it will show you show you only one part of the coin but that's not what the coin is about the coin has two sides you have to keep it in mind and what do you see how do you see yourself you know 
if you find satisfaction and fulfillment in being a content creator for example on youtube then that's one part of your life that's one part of your personality where your interest goes into but there are other things you can add to it as well you know that comes with it that can be combined it's not only that and it's about what you want it's not about what other people want so if other people see that as uh, lesser because that's also how they've been taught and brainwashed into seeing life if you do online stuff then that has less value than you're for example a doctor a lawyer um anything a uh, real estate agent you know what i mean like they have this social hierarchical ladder and if you sink low and low and low where you have to do let's say nothing of any type of so-called meaning then they see that as less important less relevant and you can never actually be perceived as a nobody's going to take you seriously that's the point so they're stressing out about your reputation that will influence them directly and that's why they make a big deal initially that's a typical asian parent thing because they always link everything back to them so whatever merit and prize and whatever glorification you get out of your opportunities in life because of being academic prosperous uh that will show and reflect on them as well in the positive sense because people will associate you with your parents and your parents with you but the same goes when it's negative you're going to say like oh he makes youtube videos and he's just talking nonsense then they're going to make fun of you of of their son and then it's going to be on them and then they're going to be disgrace it's going to be like a disgrace you know it's going to be disgraceful and that's to prevent it that's why they go so hard that's why they're so strict that's why they're so um stubborn in that matter so you got to understand it i mean I'm, I'm pretty sure you understand it in that way as well but many people got to understand where to draw the line it's also based on boundaries if you can't create boundaries people will just walk all over you mainly parents because parents think because they birthed you that that basically means that you have to give something back in return you owe them something that's something you learn in psychology in child psychology um, that's something I learned as well while going through that when I was attending business school is that these things come and they go as it is something you have to deal with no matter what and if you can confront your parents and be very firm correct and respectful about it they will eventually come to understand even if they will not fully accept it so I guess that's the first step it's just that I'm not really sure what the second step is right now I guess trying to find work life work life trying to find balance with school and uh my rest my rest at home and my rest with people outside it's something that i struggle with i feel like school can only do that much to be able to let you have some sort of uh finding some sort of meaning but i don't necessarily view it as like the best way to to go out and uh, find some purpose and meaning because of the fact that everything is very academic. Uh, there's not a lot of exposure to the real world. You're pretty much still trapped. Uh, not trapped. You're pretty much still like closed up in such a uh, protected environment. But I feel like we need that exposure more and more nowadays uh, especially with you know how you know the world is like everything is very uh, all over the place nothing is nothing nothing is nothing is certain and you know I guess in order to find a purpose and a plan in life you gotta go out there and experiment and do something honestly i don't really know what this video is about i guess i'm just sharing my own collective thoughts the thoughts that are coming to my head at the moment uh thinking about life you know planning ahead or being stuck uh doing something that i don't really like i'm just trying to piece everything together slowly yeah i mean for those of you out there who i guess in a similar situation as me you know you don't really like school you want to experiment with i don't know social media you could try doing youtube things of that nature i guess don't worry too much you know i mean i also tell myself not to worry but i'm the biggest worry worry rat like ever but you know good things will come good things take time i believe that you know my whole experimentation with youtube 
you know, hopefully it works out one day. Maybe I can find a bigger meaning, find a bigger liking toward this towards this uh, platform. I mean, I really love like uploading videos uh, and like sharing things with you guys. It's been really fun. It's been great. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll just take some time to think of what I want and you know slowly plan ahead even though things are a little bit tiring things are very all over the place right now and my schedule is just like packed beyond belief so yeah this has been a pretty random video I appreciate anyone who decided to stick throughout and watch to the end but yeah I mean I'll see you guys in the next video I guess peace out Okay, so basically what I would advise him to do is actually just uh, take a break and step away. Well, of course, whenever that time comes, but whenever he feels ready to step away, take a break and actually travel around, walk around, travel around. It doesn't have to be international. It can be just where he's at, residing at as well. But just step away, step out of that bubble, step out of that, that comfort zone. That's something I should also always advise people. The moment you do that, then... A whole new world opens up for you and it's not just because the wanderlust and the, the adventure and the drilling and all that stuff but it's it's mainly about finding yourself by doing other things than what you would normally do and then you will discover what you really want out of life that's kind of like a, a final piece of advice i would leave uh, with this video but he wanted to say i think uh worry worth not worry rat <laughs> it's a saying it's kind of funny when he said worry rat i mean i, I don't know if rats really worry that much um, unless they're being hunted down uh, by dogs and uh, possums or no not possums was it again a mink yeah minks uh never mind so thank you for watching like comment, subscribe if you want to see more let me know in the comment section if you experience something similar or you have a piece of advice for him YouTube's probably going to recommend this video to him so he might respond to it and who knows maybe we can get him on a live stream and have a conversation about this and actually solve some problems here uh, mental and social problems thank you for watching take care and i'll be seeing you in the next video